How are we doing today, guys? Um, as you know, the new event uh, kicked off today. If it will load. Sorry, my Wi Fi is being stupid. Alright, I'll show us again. Sorry, I'm having really poor connection tonight. I don't know what's going on. Alrighty. I took a little while. Sorry about that. Like I said, I'm having poor connection tonight. I don't know exactly what's going on with that. Anyways, uh, let's start off with the actual uh, catter event. Alright, um, as you guys already know, we got a new uh, character from Final Fantasy Type uh, Zero. Her name is Catter. Uh, she uses a gun. Blizzard ROK. I'm not sure what the ROK stands for. Um, but it has two transformations. All right. Uh, well, two, two abilities, I should say. All right. The first one, well, they're both basically the same thing. Uh, they are both, uh, AOE ice element brave attacks. Um, the only difference between the two and you, you won't see a name change on it. The only thing you'll see is a, uh. Uh, a damage uh, change. The bull say Blizzard are okay. Uh, the difference between the two is if you use Triple Slip or not. Triple Slip uh, grants 0.8 times initial brave to self and grants charge and dodge to self for four turns. Uh, transforms brave attack into loaded shot. Um, not only does it transform your basic brave attack into loaded shot, it transforms... Uh, Blizzard are okay into Blizzard are okay, which is basically just a more potent uh, Blizzard AOE move. Um, and it also gives a high turn rate and stuff, just going to the next turn, blah, blah, blah. Um, charge and Dodd increases evasion rate and turn rate. Um, you can also get the Su Suzuko's bag, um, which if you get that maxed out at level... Uh, 35 maxes or raises your max brave by 220 and raises your attack by 72 which of course you already know that same as all the other events you get one piece from part three one piece from part five and of course you can buy two more pieces to fully max it out uh the boss for this event is the cavalier uh he's basically just a giant white knight um he has two main abilities that he uses. Uh, the first one is Power Surge, which massively increases his attack, and Vulcanize, which massively increases his defense. Um, after using Notes Knight's Oath to raise its Brave based on its initial Brave, it will use Vulcanize on its next turn unless you inflict a Brave Break before then, in which case the Cavalier will use Focus instead to raise its attack and Max Brave. So if you ever... In the co-op level 70, um, if you ever see him using Knight's nice Oath, you need you guys need to break him as soon as possible because if he does Knight's nice Oath, then Vulcanize, then Focus, he's basically going to destroy your team. Um, I do believe you'll get two, maybe three turns, so bring some hard hitters. Um, Onion Knight uh, would be great. Uh, he is weak to Ice. Um... That's why Onion Knight's in here. Catter, she uses the Blizzard are okay. Um, trying to think of other people with ice moves. Um, Papa Limo. Um, Snow. I don't think there's anybody else with um, ice abilities.
All right. Now trying to think of who all has ice abilities. Um, as you know, uh, you can get the uh, three star and four star artifacts from the co-op quest. Here's all the point bases. I never go over those. Um, as always, I will be going for the 700k to get the armor tokens. Um, the three characters for this, uh, as I said in my last video, is uh, Catter, Onion Knight, and Hope. I have a cat climbing on my car. Alright, the event draw. Um, taking some time to load here. I don't know why, my, my internet seems to be really sucky today. Um, Alright, obviously Catter got... Uh, since she's the main character for this event, she'll be getting her 35 and her 15 CP weapons. Um, they did release Hope's, uh, 35 CP weapon called the Hawkeye, and for Onion Knight, he just gets his basic, uh, Ancient Sword. Uh, the Rune Trigger increases her triple slip, increased Brave Gain from 0.8 to 1.3, increased effect duration, increased the effect and duration of Charge and Dodge from 4 turns to 8 turns, and grants attack up 1 to self for 8 turns. So not only do you get high turn rate plus evasion, you also get uh, an attack boost as well. So that's actually really great. Plus, it lasts for a double duration and gives you more brave. Um, so that's actually a really good weapon in my opinion. Uh, for Hope, his Hawkeye... I don't remember his Hawkeye looking like that in the actual Final Fantasy XIII game. But uh, increases uh, his Protect, increased Brave... Uh, gain increased duration of physical damage resistance from 5 to 6 turns and grant speed up 1 to party for 6 turns. I'm sorry, I got the hiccups. The Magicite Pistol uh, increases the Blizzard and Blizzard are okay. Um, damage that does. Skycutter grants attack, attack up 1 self for 3 turns. Um, which, I mean, I already have the Skycutter. I do have it fully limit broke, but I haven't leveled to 35 yet. Um, I don't really use hope that much, so that's the only reason why I'm reluctant to level it up. And the Ancient Sword does the same thing. Uh, increases his Blizzard combo, Brave Damage, and grants two stacks of Sage instead of one. Um, now, as far for the event... Um, I've already done the uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 along with the stories. Um, I'm actually already... I haven't done it yet, but I plan to very shortly uh, be doing the uh, level 70 co-op um, to be working on my score plus doing all the other things. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to do t today in this video was do my event draw if internet will work with me on this one. I'm going to pause the video right here. Um, see if I can't work on getting a better internet connection and I will be back. Alright, I'm back. Hopefully this internet connection will uh, be a lot more useful than what uh, I was going through. Alright, I do have 36 draw tickets uh, to be able to use. Uh, we'll start with the 5,000 gems to go ahead and get the at least one guaranteed 5 star. The fact it's gold, I like that. So, oh, I didn't mean to hit the thing. Um, not the best. Um, I'm going to sell Hope's weapon because I don't need any more sky cutters. Um, I do need that for Onion Knight, so that, that's a good thing. Um, Unfortunately, no pistols for um, Catter. I'm going to go ahead and use my 36 tickets on this to see what I can get. I 
I think that's the first time I got that for him. Obviously, I don't need that. You guys have seen that I pulled his sky cutter out. Sorry, that's my dog outside. So far, nothing too uh, potent. The best thing I've seen so far is getting the uh, the four star armor for um, Waka. Usually, with thirty tickets, I was pulling one five star by now. But, I mean, they are single draw tickets, so... Uh, people always try to message me when I'm doing my video. I tell them not to text me on purpose. Well, not the five star I wanted, but hey, at least there's one. And apparently there's a thing going for Waka right now. He's not even part of the event, and I'm pulling gear for him. Alright, last one. Hopefully something good. Of course not. Alright, well, sadly, there's my pulls. Once again, I got shammed. Been having really bad luck with pulls so far. I mean, the best thing out of that was I got a sword finally for Onion Knight that he can use. Um, so I can get rid of his piece of crap 4-star. I can upgrade Waka's 5-star and put uh, his 4-star armor on him. And maybe upgrade a few people's four star armors and hopefully get them five star. Um, but for right now, uh, that's going to be it. Um, I just got done doing my 10 daily quest and whatnot. So I'm going to go um, do a bunch of enhancements and all that fun stuff. Uh, speaking of enhancements, real quick, I did do this earlier today. My Odin is level 20 finally. Um, so that's five level 20s, um, and I need 15 more. I don't think I got any more since last video that I did. Um, unfortunately, so far, no one's commented below, uh, the best place that they have found to get, um, Tempest Animals. So, it, please, guys, if you know a great place to get them, leave a comment below. That way I can start farming for them. Um, I have this one decent place, but I get one like every 10 times or every 10 goes, whatever. Um, so, I mean, it's not the best. It's, I would say, a 10% drop, but it does get boring watching it and going, going, going. Hope, I was hoping for more of a, a, a more sturdy place. Um, I was farming Crystal Orb Part 3, or yeah, Crystal and Orb Part 3 inside Odin. Um, World of Illusions, and I honestly didn't get a single one. I burned through 150 SP, so that's five rounds and not one dropped. Um, 
So I, I was really disappointed with that. But that's going to be it for now. Um, I'm going to go equip all my new characters and enhance them and whatnot. Uh, right now my Carter, or, yeah, Carter, Catter, Catter. Carter or Catter, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, I just know it's not Cater. <laughs> She's not Cater. Um, I do have here, her using a King's 5-star weapon right now. I mean, it's not the best. Obviously, it's not her, so she don't get any bonuses from it. But at least, you know, she's doing some damage, and I was able to level her up, level her up to 30-30 uh, so far. But hopefully, I'll be getting her to level 50-50 here shortly. Um, one thing I have noticed um, is that every time they release a new character, um, they follow the trend of the daily quests. Um, and what I mean by that is, alright, let's go into events. The last one to release, obviously, was Snow. He was, um, w a wind-based, or green-based, whatever you want to call it. Um, Cater, next, next day would be Yellow. Cater is Yellow. Or Cater. <laughs> saying Cater now, I got myself confused. Cater, um, is Yellow, and I'm trying to think who was before that. Oh, it was Steinkrad. He should have been... I do believe he was Ice, if I remember right. No, he was actually Light. So, I don't know if there's a, a trend to that, or how they determine what type they're going to be. Um... Yes, so the next one after uh, Catter should have been white um, instead of, I don't know. I, I was trying to figure out a way to where you could determine their type of crystal that you needed to farm. That way you guys could go ahead and farm them up. That way as soon as they're released you can work on getting them to level 50. I have not found a 100% method on that yet. Um, if anyone has crack the system on how they determine who's going to have what crystal type uh, please let me know below um, like I said I haven't found a, a pattern to it yet um, I don't know if there is one I don't know if they just randomly choose um, but yeah make sure you guys leave me comments down below about uh, the Tempest Animals and if you have found a pattern in which they do the crystals because right now I don't see a pattern and I'm just trying to find a better place to farm the animals than what I've been doing. Anyways, that's going to be it for now. Um, I will be back later. Um, I don't know about tonight. Maybe probably Tuesday I'll make a new video on doing the actual level 70 co-op and going through the strategy that you guys need to uh Oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The strategy that you need to execute when versing, uh, whatever his name is. I can't remember his name now. Uh, what is your name, sir? Cavalier. There we go. Uh, I was wanting to say White Knight, but I knew that wasn't right. Anyways. That's going to be it for now. Make sure you like and subscribe to the video. Make sure you hit the little bell next to subscribe. That way you get notification every time I upload a video. Um, if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will respond to you as soon as I can. Um, and that'll be it. You guys have a great night. And I'll see you on the next episode of Final Fantasy.